everyone and I thank you guys so much for tuning in to yet another episode of My Orchid Adventures with me, Maria Young. I am so excited to present to you today my new grow space. Yes indeed, it is an extension of my garden paradise and will provide my orchids a safe haven during the extreme temperatures and also during the hurricanes of which you guys know if you've been following me what a disastrous time I've been having with storing and keeping my orchids safe during these torrential storms. So indeed, I am very excited. Let me go ahead and show you my new grow space now. And one of the things that I love so much about my new growth space is the fact that it is an extension of my garden. As you can see here, it continues from my garden and into this wonderful growth space right here. And I love it so much because I don't have to go far from my garden at all. It's just a couple of feet away and again, a mere continuation of my beautiful garden paradise. And indeed, as you can see here, I've already started decorating. And here's another wonderful and attractive feature of this gazebo is that on the four corners of this gazebo right here, you are seeing the shelving unit. And indeed, it is allowing me to display my Humunga Dunga Gramatophyllum right here. So attractive and so very pretty. And here's yet another wonderful feature of this shelf unit right here is the fact that it indeed has a hook and you can actually hook your plants right there or you can have it sitting on the shelf unit whichever is more convenient for you. As you can see here my Renanthera is hanging off of the hook and indeed displaying itself so beautifully. You can also hang all of your wonderful orchids right alongside of the rim or the top of the gazebo and so many areas where you can actually attach your orchids again right on the gazebo. And I do have great plans for this wooden crafty swing right here that will contain material and also tools needed to care for my orchids. Very crafty indeed. Okay, and just to tell you a little bit more about my gazebo slash grow space, I actually purchased this at Walmart and it was already at a great price. 
I purchased this at $136, I think, with taxes. Now, of course, it was on sale. The original price was $197, and with taxes, you're going to be looking at over $200. But again, it's still a great price. The reason why I got like $60 off of this gazebo is the simple fact that the box was damaged. Indeed, so I lucked out because as you can see, everything else was fine. Nothing damaged, all parts included. All that was wrong was the box. I don't need the box. We throw that out anyway. So if you guys go to these big box office stores, you guys can always ask them if they have anything for sale, if they have broken boxes that they're trying to sell at a sale price. Indeed, because if you can do that, you're gonna save a whole lot of buckaroonies. And again, $197, still a great, great price for exactly what I need it for. Now, of course, this is a shade type of screened in material that's all around and it has the zipper where it's gonna zip up and down where you can close it completely in or you could have it opened up like I have at the sides and of course what that's gonna do is gonna keep some of the insects away if you want it fully closed in if you want to use it as a space to eat at or have a little entertainment section for a party or a get-together it's great for that but of course, what I love most for what I need it for is the framework because what's gonna happen is during the winter season, I'm gonna go ahead and either tarp it down or provide it some sort of insulation that it's gonna keep my orchids warm and safe during the winter season. And at the same token, I'm still very easily able to access the orchids and water them as I should. So it's gonna make things so much more convenient for me. And my husband is actually going to get his bath room back so indeed he's doing backflips and celebrating that and yeah we had a couple of run-ins you know I always won but indeed I also believe that he deserved his bathroom and his privacy without all these orchid eyeballs looking at him so indeed I'm so thrilled that he can have his privacy back and he can actually take baths you know we were all uh, limited to just taking showers because of this you know my orchid grow space in my bathroom was actually right above my bathtub so any baths were totally canceled out in my bathroom or in my household so yes celebration for everyone now this actual gazebo is 10 by 10 feet so indeed it provides ample spacing and right now it's kind of cleared out I don't have it exactly situated as I want it to I'm gonna add some shelf units Units and some hangers and all sorts of good stuff to be able to accommodate my orchids and I think as my orchids come into bloom I think I'm gonna surround it in my new growth space indeed it's gonna be a good section for me to relax and unwind and do whatever creative things I want to do because indeed it is quite inspiring for me and I am so over the moon head over heels in love with my new growth space and I have to tell you, which was quite surprising to me, is that the gazebo was actually pretty easy to assemble. Now, of course, mind you, there were a couple, or shall I say more than a couple, quite a few pieces to put together. But you know what? Me and my husband, only two people, and we were capable of doing it. And on the box, it actually said 30 minutes assembly. No, not the case. Maybe if you're Superman, you might be able to assemble it in 30 minutes. But for common, everyday mortals, such as me and my husband, it took us about three hours, which still was not bad and was not as frustrating as I thought it would be. Comical, but not so frustrating. So for all of you guys that want to grow your orchids outdoors, but perhaps don't have the trees or permanent structures that are going to enable you to grow your orchids, this indeed is a possibility and an option for you. And if you have weather like we do here in Florida, this can also safely store your orchids during the winter time and during the torrential storms as well. So definitely a great idea, affordable cost. And yeah, it might be a little bit 200 some odd dollars that's quite a few buckaroonies but I say to you that indeed it's gonna be quite an investment for your orchids it's gonna alleviate a lot of the stress and indeed you are gonna be rest assured that your orchids are gonna be able to weather those storms 
Okay folks, so now that you see exactly what it takes to put something like this together and you also see the final result of my gazebo slash greenhouse slash shade house slash whatever the heck I need to use it for. Indeed. Now you guys have to let me know by your comments below exactly what you think about this new grow space. Is it more than sufficient or is it not? And if you guys have one of these gazebos as well, please let me know from your experience how it has worked out for you and maybe some useful tips through your experience again of what I can do to benefit my orchids indeed. Thank you guys so much and I hope you guys like this video and if you did, please be sure to give it a green thumbs up. Also, if you want to stay tuned to the latest and greatest orchid adventures, please be sure to do so by subscribing. And if you want to join me on my Facebook adventures, you can do that as well at My Orchid Adventures right on Facebook. And if you want to send me something or write me, please be sure to do so at the address right here. And that's about it, folks. That is a wrap. Thank you so much. Really appreciate you. And of course, you guys already know how much I love you guys. Of course you guys do. And with that being said, mwah, 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 and